Hello and welcome to the Comedy Button. I'm Anthony Gallegos. With me is Brian O'Connor. Scott Bromley. What's going on, Internet? Brian Scott. Money in the bank. And Max Goville. <laughs> Welcome to episode 119 of the Comedy Button. It's That's the number of, of the episode we're doing. Uh, I am Max Scoville, your host for the evening, in for Anthony Gallegos, who is on a vision quest. With me is Brian Altano. <laughs> Ryan Scott. Swallow to me. <laughs> and Scott Bromley. Buy a garbage can and take it to the prom. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one, yeah. That's yeah. actually, most people, without even saying that, that's what they end up doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that. That's good advice. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter who you take to the prom because none of that shit matters to you a couple years later. Nope. Put a that wig on be, a garbage can and take it to the prom. That should, yep. be, the, that should be the slogan for Jostens. <laughs> Jostens. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a garbage can, put a wig on it, and take it to the prom. Jostens. Buy, Buy a garbage can and wear it to graduation. <laughs> Make sure to reserve your class ring. Yeah. Good um, talk, y'all. So this is going to be the all questions episode. We're going to answer questions that we asked you. Uh, we are recording this last week because it's GDC this week in San Francisco, and we're all nerds, so we have to go and learn about game development and go to conferences. They make the water look more wet with the shiny texture. We're tool. trying to learn better ways to nerf the bushes. Thank God. Um, so, do we have any good questions to start off with? Yeah, sure. Right off the bat, Azri Bahari went to the Facebook. We went to the Facebook group. We asked for questions. This is what we got. Azri Bahari says, "Podcast recording should have been over by now. Wonder what questions got used and how it went." <laughs> Not Azri Bahari's. That's Azri statement. Bahari. We'll let you know in a, about a little forty-five less than minutes. An hour. Forty-five yeah. minutes to an hour. Okay, let's go. Mason Roberts says, "True, true. Can't wait for the episode." <laughs> Us okay. either. Let's you go had, back in time. You had one job, <laughs> okay. Brian. Well, so far, this, there hasn't been a single question on this all question. Mason episode. Roberts says, what's the hardest thing you ever had to admit to yourself? That I My would dick. never be as successful as I wanted to be. The comedy button. Really? Yeah. Okay, um, I have visions of grandeur. You're pretty damn su- successful, right? But not, not. I mean, right now as we speak, there's an air mattress leaned up against the wall <laughs> of your apartment. Yeah, but it's leaned up next to a Popeye arcade machine. <laughs> That's true. So it's kind of like you know. That's true. Yeah, um, but you're you're a successful man. I, yeah, but you you're know, no Brad Pitt. But I mean, people listening to the show right. are like, "Fuck you, Scott. You're you know, successful." As you hell. know, you know when you're when you're like ten years old and was like, "Oh man, I'm gonna have a Lamborghini." You always have that that thing in your head. Yeah, and you'll you'll never live up to that. Okay, and, and most, that, most that, kids got that thing removed, except for poor little Cliff Blazinski up the road. He actually does have a Lamborghini. Exactly, exactly. So so that that like teddy bear millionaire sweatshirt that everyone had. Scott, when I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a dinosaur, so... <laughs> yeah, they, they put me on a whole lot of drugs when I was uh, a tween to make sure that I wouldn't remember what I wanted to be so that, you know, it wouldn't, well, it wouldn't bog me down when I was when I, when I was 10 years old, I would read books <laughs> about how to be an entrepreneur. Oh, Jesus. But seriously, I was, like, I was like a little Alex P. Keaton, like, trying to figure out scams. That's not what you read. No, seriously, I had... No, you read Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> Encyclopedia Brown was a good book. That was Serious. a good book about a fucking snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't have money for Encyclopedia Brown books, so I just read a Brown Encyclopedia series of Ah, uh, Mr. Wilkins, uh Roger up the street is selling go kart fuel, but he doesn't actually have a go kart. We go-kart. know a woman was the criminal because the buttons of her shirt were on opposite sides, which is how women's shirts are. Fucking snitch. That's the only thing I remember about about Encyclopedia Brown is learning that like I'm like, wait, is that true that women's buttons go on the other side of a shirt? And it's true. I got Encyclopedia Brown mixed up with some other book where kids went around selling toothpaste made out of baking soda in jars anyone else remember no, no just no. me uh, just me all right that was the thesaurus jones <laughs> um what, oh, what was i gonna remember do you remember that book how to eat fried worms fuck yeah i do that was a great book I I, that. did, I they, did they ever make a movie out of that i oh maybe i don't know but this, this basically and i'm paraphrasing it's been decades so there's this kid and his friend's like yeah i bet you can't eat like 40 worms in a day and he's like fuck you yes i can and he's like, all right, fine, here's the bet. And he's like, but here's the deal. You can eat them however you want to eat them. You just have to eat, like, a certain amount every single day for, like, a week. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and he's like, all right, I'm going to fry them up because everything tastes delicious when they're fried, right? But then all sorts of antics and wacky goobers go by, and he has to eat worms. And it's like, oh, fuck, it's like five minutes till midnight. I got to eat all these worms out of the old dirt. In, with my wet hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember what the morals were about know. that book. I got, see, and I got that That's about book. when I stopped yeah. reading. I got that book. Oh, I would always get it confused with the peanut butter solution. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Whereas a kid was like, oh, I got to make this peanut butter garbage and put it on my hair, and it just turned into a fucking... That they made a movie out of, and that movie was fucking horrifying. Yeah. What was the movie? It was a movie about this kid who made it called the peanut butter garbage. It was called the peanut butter solution. It was about this kid who the Hudsucker proxy who put peanut butter on his face and it grew into a huge beard. Really? Yeah, and he had hair all what over. What was his up body. with all these like snake oil children's books? I don't like, know. There, there was, was another. Like, there was, there was like, a, freckle juice. Like Disney. Disney did a rip off movie called juice. Fuzz Bucket. For uh, really? Yeah, it was called Fuzz Bucket, and it was for the Wonderful World of Disney. Huh. Uh, it was a TV movie about this kid who basically made the peanut butter solution in his blender, but it created a little goblin mm-hmm. who would wreak havoc in his treehouse. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so anybody have, have, PCP uh, anybody else have answers about how they've horribly failed themselves <laughs> as human beings? No. Uh, <laughs> I had one. What? Everything's pretty good. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Everything's going great. This is the, this is the really? you. This is the you that you. There's nothing that you. This is it. When you were a kid, you're like, "This is gonna be it. I'm gonna be this successful." I don't think that was the question. Oh. Well, think you know what the question is. Uh, what's the hardest thing you ever had to admit to yourself? Yeah. That Scott uh, is never gonna be as successful as he wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> Really, I like you. That was really, that was really hard to, to. I like you as successful as you are, Scott. Because I think if you were more so, you would be insufferable. Oh, I was. Yeah. <laughs> Don't achieve anything greater, Scott. Please, <laughs> for all of our sake. Keep it right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just dial that needle back to exact neutral. Yeah. Keep right it, there. keep it locked, as they say. <laughs> yeah. As others in your bracket would say. <laughs> leave, a, leave a comment below. Sound off in the comments below. You're keep like that it. cat we had declawed. We like to watch you try to scratch the furniture <laughs> speaking of cats mckay riding says where do you think the world would be without cat videos in a uh, much better place m- much Jesus more productive christ next question i mean this is a weird question though because i grew up with cat videos and i didn't even have the internet all i, I had would to be do was turn on abc once a fucking week and danny tanner would be like i'm a cat Wah. and they showed like eight people would send 800 tapes of cats to fucking television have you ever heard the stories of the people who worked on that show Mm-mm. The people who screened the videos, America's Funniest Videos. Yeah, yes. No. So the people who would screen America's Funniest Home Videos, like in the in the like fifty or so clips that they would show a week, there would be five hundred tapes that they would have to go through. Yeah, and most of them were people fucking in the shower and they like, they farted or slipped. <laughs> And they're like, send that into America's Funniest Home Videos. Maybe it'll get on. See, that's what I knew that at a very young age. Like, I would watch it with my. I was the oldest. I'm still the oldest of three brothers, mm-hmm. or two brothers younger than me. And uh, I think one of them would have caught up by now. No, then not anytime soon. No time bandits in the family. Right. But there would be like, you know, my younger brother would be like, "Man, this show's really funny." And I was like, "It is," but we only see the five seconds that is funny. And people didn't have editing software back then. Yeah. People just filmed their cat for like a day. And they're like, at the four hour mark, wrinkles the cat, jumps off the couch, and his paw gets wet, and he screams. Well, no, I told you. I did, like, so when you, they, they would have explicit instructions. They'd be like, make sure your tape is right at the yeah, part yeah, where the by, funny happens. By like season three. Yeah. Because season one and two, it was like, hey. We rewound uh, it. We, we were kind and we rewound. Yeah. It's here somewhere enjoy Mm -hmm. enjoy our our child's graduation or people sending in those videos that basically just nothing happened the entire time yeah that's really funny to me yeah uh but (laughs) (laughs) you know there's there's a there's a lot of things i i blame red the red white and blue america things you do there's a fucking cat on a ladder that died I was gonna this say, fat guy jumped into a pool. It split <laughs> wide open. This duck is yelling at a preacher, and we're gonna watch him fall. Half these people are dead now. This Jewish kid can't fly. It's America. It's full of whites and lots of animals. Our host last name sounds like a slur, <laughs> but it's off by a letter. <laughs> 
I feel like that probably hooked a lot of people. Like, <laughs> going, going in, they're like, hi, I'm Bob Saget. They were like, oh, it's off to a good start. Oh, and I then, see what they did. And then some fat lady sets her hair on fire at a bar mitzvah, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's good TV. Yeah. I'm going to get wedged in here. I don't know if good. I make it fun of fags and Jews. I'm locked in. I don't know if I said this on the show before, but the worst thing about that show is that if you could like risk life and limb to send in a video of you almost dying. But if, if a bunch of other people sent in similar videos that week, you became part of a montage. Yeah. And oh. if you're on a montage in that show, you're not, you getting, are not eligible for a prize. You're not getting the like, money. Like, he was like, hey, here's 12 people falling off a bike, landing on their head and almost dying. And you're like, God damn it, bad week for Nowhere that. to run to, baby. And it's yeah. just people running into walls for... I always... I, here's, what, here's what I loved about that show. People that try really hard to do fucked up shit and failed and got hurt. Right. Here's what I hated about that show. Parents who were like, here's our baby that we filmed for a day. Lighting his he, hair on fire. And he threw up spaghetti. And then they would just be this baby who was like six months older and he'd be sit, it would cut to the camera. They'd be covered in makeup. And these these two piece of shit parents would be sitting there like, <laughs> and they'd be like, "Oh, Mister and Mrs. Jonger, you won. What are you gonna do with the money? We're not gonna give the kid anything." It's like he fucking threw. They give him all the money. You pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, God, do you remember that? They would have people. They would have the audience, but they had these gigantic these, voting like, phones, contraptions. With, like four buttons on them. <laughs> Three buttons are yeah. like, if you like baby oh, loves head God. rub, push number one. <laughs> Wolverine fucks a tricycle. <laughs> push number two. And if you like Duck Preacher, push four. <laughs> Pappy you know couldn't get to his daughter's funeral. Yeah. You know what I'm hearing in my head right now is that one sound <laughs> effect. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like was like... Yeah, they, they, had had that, that, they had that on like speed dial. Yeah. yeah. Press three if you like DUI at the Quintinia. Like I would have It would be like a gasoline fire. It would be like... <laughs> Because <laughs> we all know, we all know Bob Saget. We all know that now that he was just a dirty comedian the whole time yeah, during, during yeah. Full House era, and and uh, it retrofitted America, that show for me. Well, what was great is if you watch the show now with the Bob Saget episodes, you can clearly see he is making fun of how bad the writing is. Yeah, like while he's on the show, he is like. This is fucking horrible, but I'm going to make the best. He was like a Joel McHale's delivery of bad jokes during the VGAs was basically what Bob Saget was doing on every episode yep. of uh, America's Funny Some Videos. He'd be but- like, I'm a duck. I don't give a quack if a truck is coming. Uh oh. <laughs> But that I, was the whole bit. But like, I would have loved to have been in the room when he was doing the voices for every video, just to hear what he was saying in between each take, where they're like, uh, uh, "Bob, in this scene, you are a duck making fun of a preacher." Okay, <laughs> go. Blah 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 blah. Is that fucking good enough? Is I that- want to. Is that what you need? So I used to, when I was a kid, I used to watch, I used to watch America's Funniest Home Videos. And, and America's I'm, Funniest People with no, Dave Coulier and Tony Katane? No, and the, the weirdest, I would change <laughs> the channel to PBS and I would watch This Old House. Because <laughs> you wanted to see how they built the set? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did that as a kid. But that, was, right. that was a regular thing. <laughs> there was nothing else on it like Sunday at 7.30s or whatever. I also loved how Bob Saget on that show would always like try and appease his wife who was at home. He's like, sorry, honey, I'm trapped here for a half oh, hour. Oh, yeah. Like on this, I'm, on, I'm on the second fake house of the night of yeah. the shows I do. I'm sorry, wife. All right. Malon Zach Tracy asks, if you could all kill Ryan... How would you do it and why? P.S. Ryan is the man. Ryan, because you're in the room, I want you to answer this question from the form of suicide. (laughs) (laughs) What would be your best suicide, Ryan? Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. What's the best suicide? Something that didn't hurt. Jump in front of a train or something. See? What? That would really hurt. hurt. No, it hurt. You'd for be like, late for the show. It'd be hurt for ha- it hurt for half a you'd second. Make, you'd make dozens of of nerdy dudes late for their podcasts in the city. <laughs> <laughs> My arm would go flying off and hit somebody, and then they'd sue. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> With your arm? Not my arm. Someone's oh. arm flew into the Caltrain? There was uh, there was a story I read where a woman was suing the family. Damn it, of, guts man. Of, of, the, of, this, of this kid who had like tried to run across the track you know, uh-huh. when the train was coming, and he got hit and exploded, I guess, and she got hit by a chunk was of the like, person flying on, Was the person appendage. on the other side yelling at someone going, can you please just give me a hand with this? And then the hand flew and hit them. It was some, but it, it hit her and like she fell and broke her arm and like dislocated something, and so she was suing the kid's family. Wow. Yeah. 
Uh, what, did, did, I mean, I don't know. T- I did don't, the hand touch her inappropriately? I don't know what came of it, but no, it knocked her over and she like broke her arm. So what I would do, what I would had do, to go to like counseling. This actually popped into my head the second that question was would was read, and how I would kill Ryan. The answer is you wouldn't. No, I, I, I well, you wouldn't. How I would do it, I tickle you to death because it's so fun to tickle you ryan because you freak the fuck out i'll punch you if i did it long enough you would have a heart attack i would um that's i don't know about that scott that's i would do the uh the part in the the thing that happens do you see what he just did i'm gonna it's like he gets electrocuted you that would that would kill you though scott he would eventually holy shit he pulled out a knife oh Oh, yeah wow wow you you actually had your knife fly up by hitting it on a pillow how long have you been practicing that move I'm badass. That's why you wouldn't kill me. See, now you can't tickle me because I got uh, a sharp uh, object. So, so, Excuse um, me. You're not badass. You just huh? bounce a knife on a couch to make it open. That's I can not badass. throw this at you. Hey! And it would wind up in your head like no. a Steven Seagal movie. I don't believe that. This do, you, is, do you have knife throwing training? My mind? How, where are you practice that shit? Where? Huh? In Gotham? The community gym? I have in Castlevania. Maybe. What you, <laughs> that's true, huh? You go down to the the bad cat brick wall. Yeah. At the, you gotta, at the you gotta whip the right yard. chandelier and then you, press B. What are you, Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins? No, no, no. Hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you hit me and my clothes fly off. Ryan, have you really thrown a, a knife before? You know how to throw a throwing knife, huh? I want to know this. You know how to throw a throwing knife? I don't know why I keep saying throwing knife. You know how to throw a knife? Well, I know that this is not a throwing knife. You just said you would throw it in each of my well, eyes. Well, I couldn't. I probably couldn't throw this one. It hit you. It Could you throw a regular knife? Maybe. What do you mean maybe? You There's knives that are balanced for throwing. Well, are you balanced for throwing? <laughs> so uh, it's me? a matter of knowing, yeah. Ryan, knowing the balance of every knife. Do you know how to throw playing cards? Like Gambit, so they could slice people. They don't. They blow things up. They explode. Okay. Well, I've seen people who can like put a playing card on, like cut an apple or whatever. Yeah, cut an apple yeah, with yeah. a playing card. Like that. That's that's a skill that I could imagine you trying to perfect in your kitchen mm-hmm. no. for years. So, oh, God, oh, oh, no. oh, hold on. Time out. Time Come out. Time on. out. Whoa, whoa. If any of our listeners um, are those guys who do crazy Zippo tricks but don't smoke. Or do card Stop tricks. Stop listening to the show forever. If you, if you no, can no, actually just, infuse just, just cards with kinetic energy and make things that. blow up, email us. Okay. You know what? Most of those... Yeah, if you're actually Gambit, <laughs> continue doing that. But if you're like a, a guy who doesn't like... You know, if you, if, you're just, if you just do card tricks a lot, it's insufferable. So you know what? Got, most guys that do it. card tricks, the best thing that they can cut in half is a happy marriage. <laughs> yep. All right. Split right the deck. <laughs> Split the day. <laughs> how would you? So you would just want to get hit by? How would you guys kill? I would suffocate I was you with just, a pillow. I was. I would do. Um, I would put a pillow on your face. And so really? tickles. So you would pillow you would, uh, fight. You would um, cuckoo's nest him. Oh, I don't want to see him. Actually, would you, would you, I don't want to see him die. That's yeah, why. Yeah, I, yeah. He's would my, you just he's rip my, the cactus cooler machine out and throw it through the wall? <laughs> Poison and cactus cooler would be a good one. But I, okay. well, I love yeah. Brian. I love you too much to like really kill you with uh, any honor. I, w- I want to kill you with a pillow. While so you're I sleeping. would. Um, I, w- I, w- I would like you'd suffocate me. I would yeah, do no, no, like. What do you think I fucking meant, man? Like make you eat it? Maybe you'd put the pillow in front of me and shoot me in the head. Like oh, that's over a good my idea. Face. No, so no one can idea. hear his screams. So so how I would do it is <laughs> like a gangster, yeah. I like that. I would I would do it like in like in Red Dragon, like when he's when he when he glues Philip Seymour Hoffman to the wheelchair and then sends him down a hill like on fire. Except Why except, would you do that to me? I would do it on an old timey bicycle. Why can't you <laughs> so, just so da, 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 da. You'd go down this hill and you'd be like, I can't stop and you'd be on fire and they'd be like, Man. Those hipsters every year. Why can't, they get why can't you just shoot me in the back of the head so it doesn't have to be but misery first, for first me? First, you would you, want it that way. First, I'd make you watch all of Dragon Ball Z, and I'd be like, "Do you see it? Do you, do you see it? Do you see the great dragon now? Do you see it? A, it's granting a, wishes." <laughs> you and Mike Morona are just naked in a corner, yelling at Ryan. <laughs> Max, there's a problem with your scenario, and that is that Ryan would be able to ride a bike all the way down the hill and not a foot and a half before falling off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> the bike would fall flat on its side with his ass glued Wait to it, this is... and he'd be burned on fire right now. Ryan, do you know how to ride a bike? Yes. I don't know. A bike? Uh, yes, Do you course. know how to swim? Yeah. Wait, okay. when was the last time you rode a bike? The la- I actually rode a bike with my dad uh, a few months ago when I went to visit them. They they have a couple bikes that they ride, you know. Okay. Two things. Jen, Jen asked me that yesterday. Yeah. If you know how to ride a bike, I was like, you know what? Before yeah. that, before that, I hadn't ridden a bike in years, and I was like, oh, I gotta kind of get used to this again. No, it's, it's just, it's, it's just like know. riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> I figure I found that out. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I can swim. You can swim? Yeah. When was the last time you swam? <sighs> years. It's been years. Really? Yeah, yeah I don't You can don't... really swim? Yeah. I mean, I'm not like an Olympic swimmer, but yeah, I can swim. I can go in the deep end and it's okay. You bring the knife? Yeah. <laughs> no. There I... could be bull sharks in there. <laughs> I've never brought a knife into a swimming pool, no. Well, good. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Places not to bring a knife to. Might, might make it. What about a pool? <laughs> uh, church? Um, an airplane? Uh, Ryan, airplane. what about a, what about a pool hall? You might bring a knife there. Bring a knife to a pool hall? Yeah. Do you yeah. know how to play pool? Uh, really badly. Okay. My dad, my dad's a pool shark. I have a trivia question for you, gentlemen. <laughs> what? Does your dad teach you how to Which swim? member of the X-Men yeah. is the best at pool? Gambit, he makes the balls explode. No, Cyclops, because geometry. That's actually a thing. They, they, there's, what? There's like really? A, yeah, Cyclops is like super, super good at, at geometry because he has to learn how to like deflect his eye beams off of shit. Really? Yeah. There's like an issue way back in the day where they straight up... According to who? Radio show. Chris fucking Claremont. Wait, what about all. Beast? Beast is a fucking genius at math. He yeah, would know that so shit he's, too. he's not fucking around with... with and he doesn't have to wear dumbass cool. glasses the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, just so, be a hairy man in his old. You know who's the best at pool, Professor X, because he can just tell. Oh, really? With, yeah, he uh, gets those those shots where you really lean into it. No, I don't think so. His legs <laughs> don't <fucking> work. Uh, <laughs> What's he gonna do? Levitate? Get his floaty chair? Shut up! Bring him up to the top of the ceiling. I mean, I guess if you want to get really focus? into it, I mean, geometry. Jean Grey would probably be the best at pool because telekinesis. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess you could probably do like a proper like top ten list of, of X Men players by pool abilities. I guess. I bet you, you'd be Nightcrawler because he could take all the money that people were betting on the pool <laughs> game, yeah. and then he could disappear to the White House <laughs> by pussy. <laughs> That's where they sell it at the White House. <laughs> Who's the best at baseball? <laughs> so Nightcrawler can Colossus. take everyone's money and go buy pussy <laughs> at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> Why do you? Why does it surprise you that I know how to like swim and ride a bike and other things? Because you don't but... strike me as someone who who learned. Yeah, all those things why? are in the outdoors too. Because I don't know. Because whenever we've talked about like, do you know our, that I learned to our... roller skate by skating around our pool table at home? Whoa! There. Oh, damn! There we go. Wow! Regular Combine fucking, two regu- things. Regular fucking Preston Waters over here with a I pool can't, table. I can't <laughs> picture you. <laughs> On roller skates without picturing you in really weird shorts. I probably had some shorts, too. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. One day, once upon a time, I had shorts. I can't picture you on roller skates without picturing, like, uh, like Looney picture- Tunes. Like, Bugs Bunny on roller skates, where basically, like, one leg's in the air the whole time, the other one's Dude, on the there wall. Dude, there was, wait, one, of, one of the places, one of my old, the old I houses. I picture Ryan roller sh- hey, skating. Hey, Go ahead. Shut, shut up. In one of my old houses that we lived in in Sunnyvale, mm-hmm. when I was in high school, there was this dude... The, the, like, I don't know what his deal was, but every morning he'd be, like, roller skating around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And He's trolling for dudes. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, every time he would cross an intersection, he would just... He had a whistle. He would just blow his whistle. Yeah. Like... <laughs> To alert cars, I guess that he was. I don't know what he. Hey, he ladies! Yeah. It was very weird. So I, I saw something this weekend that was really funny. Uh, it, I, so, Ryan's got in a rude dog shirt. No, so I, <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever go to that jewelry store I told you about to get uh, your and Stacy's ring? Oh, upgrades? we went to a different one. Okay, so the one I told really you to white go to. Story. The one I told you to go to is in the Castro, mm-hmm. um, and that's where I took my fiance to get the ring appraised, which is what you have to do after you get engaged. And uh, this week we're like, hey, let's you know we're in the neighborhood, let's go by and look, we'll look for uh, for wedding bands and stuff like that. Right. So I go in there and I don't realize that this is a it's a very it's in a very gay neighborhood, and thus all of the wedding bands are very gay. Also, and I don't have a problem with gay marriage. Just all. Two think, dolphins sucking each other off, yeah, kinda. <laughs> have a problem with gay marriage i think gay marriage is wonderful it's just like a good like but solid I do, two inch diameter i do have You're a like, problem with what, gay where wedding does that bands go exactly like gay wedding bands are through the roof ridiculous they look like something are you sure they weren't just fancy cock rings that's what that was the joke i made they'd be really yeah. tiny cock rings yeah Oh, okay. Well, you know, I don't know what's going on. I still like that that dude, John Cochran, kind of sounds like John <laughs> Cochran. <laughs> um, but all it was like, hey, do you want a warp whistle wrapped in a, a tree bark? And I was like, no. And they're like, how, how about this pewter snail that's chasing his own shadow? I was like, no. <laughs> like, do, do you, you have, have any simple gold? Yes, yeah, so I was like, do you have just this? And they were like, they're like, well, this one is four diamonds sixty nine ing. And I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> four diamonds sixty nine. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, so what about yours? Does yours have any engravings in it? No, just a plain old gold. It doesn't band. have any like all all seventy of the original uh, OG Lucky Charm marshmallow flavors. It it doesn't. No, Ryan, you have small fingers. I do. You know what they say about people with small fingers, right? What do they say about people with small? They fingers? use them to masturbate on their tiny cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's not going to go anywhere. Scott just, Scott just lost my wedding ring. No, thing. So, okay, so the thing about... They were really snail wedding rings? Yeah. It was like a snail okay. chasing a shadow. I, I sort of wonder... Like, I know that there's there's sort of the different like animal code names for different types of gay That dudes. ring was a tie-in for the movie Turbo. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, that's exactly what it looked like. He had cool shades on and everything. <laughs> like, there's, like, there's, like, there's bears and there's, uh, you know, there's cubs and there's all that you know there's like different types of <laughs> sort of animal classes for for gay dudes right. and i wonder is it like, like a full like like metal gear solid ranking system of like different animals like different spirit animals of, of types of like yeah. gay dudes like, i guess it's like so. a, like i'm kind of a snail and it's like what does that mean it's like i take forever to get ready like what, and like, i hate salt <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm on a low sodium diet and i'm and i'm a bit of a dawdler <laughs> like i'm sort I, of a homebody i don't know because I know there's like there's that whole like top secret well it's not even top secret but there's the the sort of swingers club bandana color code system, but see this is yes I, I totally know what you're talking about that's this, this is what I like w- you have the, to explain the bandana thing to Ryan because Ryan okay so there is like a you know those those flag motions they do at the airport for for like planes landing or whatever yeah so they have a different thing that's not like that at all where a different color bandana mm-hmm. hanging out of your back pocket means you're into different shit so like if you have a brown bandana you like the poopy and if you have a gray one you like spitting and if you have orange you're down for any time anywhere uh yellow probably peeing this uh this white, trick also works in prisons common all over the place is it prison yeah. it works in prisons too okay. if, in case you and that funny but that's knife the that's the problem is that they mix-ups. only they only give you orange bandanas so it's any time any place and that's really why there's all that confusion about the shower stuff you know? yep 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 yeah so just huh. be careful Ryan, with Ryan's your bandanas trying to process all this right now. that's weird but this is like i i feel like conservatives in the middle of america they're gonna be like all right you know honey I'm finally cool with a gay married thing. It's, it's okay. And they're like, oh, yeah? Check out our rings. And, like, a fucking planeteer pops out of it. They're like, that's too much! <laughs> Bring it back! <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy to me. Because you can't even just go, you're like, yeah, I just want a regular, just a thing. And they're like, nope. We don't do that here, sir. You need a gay ring. I'm like, I don't really, they don't even, no one needs a gay ring. Like, how about just get a regular thing? Just because, not, sex aside, men, women aside, if you're a dude that has a ring that has, like, four wyverns on it and you're not in a band, fuck off. Like, if that's not hand, or elbow scandal. deep in a, in a, in a woman on tour or a man or whatever. God, I wish I could wear rings. I, yeah, I feel like, I feel like You can Max wear rings? Is- Max, I feel like you're so close. Thirtieth yeah. birthday for you, ring town. What yeah, the fuck? <laughs> ring town up and down, baby. You're gonna be, you're gonna fucking Gaffieri's ring town up and down. You are gonna accessorize like fucking crazy. This shit with the boots and the tight jeans, you're gonna be so over it by the time you're thirty years old. You're gonna be like, I need more, I need more flair. I'm gonna bring that. Flare I just in. imagine that Max's wedding ring will be a werewolf blowing fire, and the fire will just go around and. Touch I want to bring the you to this store. You're gonna love this store. It's gonna be a werewolf mouth that you can use to open bottles. Yeah. You're gonna have the weirdest. You know, I would not be shocked at any of these things. No, I, that's what I'm saying. I think Max is gonna have the weirdest wedding ring ever. <laughs> see, this is why. I, I, see, Max is smart. Though. Super, super normal. And your guests are gonna be like, "That's really boring." And I'll be like, "Yeah, well, it's made from melted Star Wars or something." I exactly. Don't, yeah. <laughs> so this is why it's I made like, from melted Star I like, Wars. I like Max. Actual carbonite. We, we melt. Yeah. Max hides all of his bullshit in practicality. Like he goes, "Like, oh, you know, this is a this is a, a bear's tooth keychain, but you can use it to." Uh, scratch off lotto tickets. <laughs> <It's> like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, you don't understand. This is not just for show. This alligator's mouth removes staples. <laughs> That's why I keep it up next to my bed. <laughs> what like what like third like third series of Playmates Max Scoville toys have you been looking at? Because <laughs> like I wish I had this shit. <laughs> don't you don't you have the raccoon belt I, buckle that opens ears? I think you're getting me cons- like. Con- Confused with Assassin's Creed DLC, where you can turn into like a ghost bear. <laughs> I just keep. I don't going. actually have any Native American <laughs> relics that I use in everyday life. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I, these Gundams make cool beer koozies. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're gonna open up his chest. You what got the fuck? <laughs> you, you this got koala bear is a nightlight. You can just float them in the bathtub to scare off Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got any more good questions? Oh my God! Sure. Um, <laughs> ask some questions. Let's see. I, I well, I can ask a question for Stacy, but I can answer it. Oh well. David wants to know. Awesome. What was it about Scott that made you decide that he was the one to marry? Also, where did you two meet? Uh, she did not want to date me even while we were dating. Really? Yeah, she was like, "You're an asshole." What did you, she, you she'd be nuts? like, she'd be like, "Well, he makes me laugh." <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, no, because she knew me when I was single. And so did Max, and Max can attest to this. I was terrible when I was single. You're still terrible. Max <laughs> didn't. Max didn't want to date but me either. But I was either. really bad. <laughs> you kept trying to fuck me. You'd be like, "You want a job?" But I was like, "Okay." And you were like, "Want to go see Transformers 2? And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> awful. Why'd you take him to see Transformers Two? That's the worst. That part. I just all I remember about going to see Transformers Two with you was there was like a a good like cadre of of like Filipino tweens. I loved going to us. that theater and they were just so stoked so about the, into the, new, the new moon trailer. Oh and I God. knew nothing about twilight and like the Jacob shows up or whatever. And you and Julie both go shark boy. <laughs> and I was like, what world do I need to know more about? What wiki page have I not read? And yeah. then the part in, in transformers two where Soundwave is a satellite. Yeah. Which I thought was amusing. Yep. Ugh. Um, but anyway, yeah, she did not want to date me, and I just wore her down and told her, no, I'm not that terrible. And then she said, okay. We well, mean, how, rom- how, how, how romantic. What? We mean you wore her down. I never hear that phrase when people are describing people they love. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because she would not. I learned her. <laughs> I learned her well. I had to prove to her that I was I was worthy of her hand in marriage. Uh, I just had to kind of prove to her that um, all that shit was behind me. I was done. On what being a, a floozy Transformers two look, looking at motherfucker <laughs> trying to fuck Max, <laughs> giving him jobs and taking him to Michael Bay movies, oh. doing the yawn where I wrap I'm, my arm I'm no hussy. Me. Yeah, I'm no hussy. All right, <clears throat> I ain't no traveler. <laughs> uh, hey, McKay, writing. No, Brian and I are not going to have a double wedding together. That's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. I love that people think we only exist for like an hour a week on this show. Yeah, well, like, no, they think that they think that we this show goes on all seven days of the week. No, nah, it was a weird fluke that I hung out with both of you this weekend. Yeah, yeah, the first time in ages. Yeah. Uh, question for Ryan from Emmanuel K Pop Ashley. I love that name. I love that name so much. Yeah, that's his middle name, K-pop. Emmanuel Uh, K-pop. I'm I'm pretty sure Ryan is a fighting game fan. Yeah. So how do you feel about new Ultra Street Fighter 4 edition select? (sighs) What what characters do you feel like will be on top? Sounds awesome, and who knows? Didn't that game come out in 2010? I don't know. It came out in 2008. Oh, man. (laughs) Seriously? This is like the sixth edition of Street Fighter 4. hell. It's still big. Whatever, you know. All right. Nah. All right. Ready? It's sure going to be a Street Fighter game. Josh Graham ri- wrote in saying... <laughs> That's a great box quote right there. <laughs> it's a Street Fighter game. It's sure going to be a Street Fighter game. Sure. Ryan Scott. Sure it'll be Geek fine. box. All right. Uh, Josh Graham wrote in, Y'all like cakes? Yeah, That's I a like, great I like fucking cakes. question. Yep. Lots of... I, lo- I love cakes. What's Next. the best... What's your best cake? The best cake in the whole world that I've ever had is Susie Cakes here in San Francisco... There's this place called Susie Cakes out in the marina. They make cakes that are basically – it's got to be like dead baby deer and sugar and butter and lard and then more sugar. That's the whole cake. And it's like – it's only it's only like the housewives, like the richest people in the world get them. Like people get wedding cakes and shit like that. And they're del- just un- unbelievably delicious. And you take like two bites and you're like, I'm in a sugar coma. You can't have it more than like once huh. a year. You That's know the what? best cake I've ever had. Scott, you never had Sco- Susie's cakes? No. Really? No, never had Jesus, Susie's cakes. This is right up your fucking so, alley. No, I usually go to I usually go to uh chili pies on Baker. Ah, oh, you guys yeah. are a couple of that's, well, that's a pie. That's a pie joint. That's a right pie. There. That's you a pie guys. Joint. I'm glad guy. everybody knows where all these are. Well, they, if they're planning a trip to San Francisco, visit Susie's you Cakes, like cakes and Chili and Pies yes, on yeah. Baker Street. If you go to um, yeah, go to SF Chili Pies in San Francisco. Get their delicious pie treats. If you're there on a lucky night and they have the chocolate peanut butter, caramel Chili Pies salad. on Baker Street sounds Oof. like Sherlock Holmes if he was a Coke dealer. I know, <laughs> but it's a it's it's a it's a pie store on Baker Street. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. like it's, it's actually on Baker it's Street. So good. They could have called it like Basil's. You know what? You know what? The best kind of cake because it was is the second chili what? pies location. The best kind of cake is Black Forest cake. Really? Love That's this racist. Black Forest cake. Why? Because um, it's so racist. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, because it's good. Does it remind it's, you it's of the, growing? It's out? delicious. It's, it's got all the, the good stuff. It's the leather bound book of cakes. It's got. Um, you know what sucks, man? I love I love cake and I love alcohol, but I don't like when people put alcohol on cake. Okay. That, that, that gets too much for me. You, you want guys yeah. want to hear a great cake tale? Yes. Yeah. So, so for my birthday bom, a few bom, years bom, ago. Bom, 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 bom. I think you told the story on the show before. Did I? Not to the, cut you off, but yeah. The Danzig one? No, I've never heard about a story about a Danzig cake. Yes, I have. Okay, so um, there's a picture that I found on the internet. This was like... Oh, of him uh, with the cake mix and the kitty litter? Well, it's just Danzig carrying a bag of kitty litter through like a Target parking lot. Yeah. This is like current Danzig. So he's like so not, happy. he's just like chubby. He's not really ripped, but he's still wearing a mesh shirt. And he's clearly he's going to go home to his house full of rubble and books about Nazi werewolves and his mini cats. And he's got he's got his cat litter and he's all like just looking angry like he's in a hurry because his house probably smells like cat pee. And I was like, this is the funniest picture ever. And Jen and her like crazy calculating like mental notebook is like, I should put that on a birthday cake. And so eight, nine months later, whatever, at my birthday, Jen reveals that she has found some crazy old woman in Ingleside who will do custom cakes to any any photographic image. This is like a little old lady who this wasn't like, you know, going to Carvel or like Safeway and being like, can I have this on the cake? She had to have an email exchange with this little old woman and send her a picture of Danzig with kitty litter and say, can you put this on a carrot cake? That's my boyfriend's favorite kind of cake. And she's like, cream cheese frosting? Yes, that's the kind of frosting. And this is the image, this weird man with muscles and kitty litter. That's what you want on the cake. And so she did that. We went and picked it up, and I was like, what's on the cake? She's like, you can't peek. And that was the best cake of my life. <laughs> and Danzig was, with cat litter. Do you have a photo of this somewhere? <clears throat> yeah. It's on, it's on my Instagram, like, way back at the beginning. So. <laughs> I got to say, Max, I love you, and that story's wonderful, but the least metal part of that story was that you got a carrot cake. <laughs> I like carrot cake a lot. <laughs> carrot cake is disgusting. Carrot, carrot cake is carrot, fucking great. Carrot cake sucks. It fuck sucks. You. Yeah. It sucks. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, just, you heard the name of a vegetable in it, you freak the fuck out. No, and carrot you, cake. Is, I'm I with, love carrots, and I love cake, but I don't, you don't love, love carrots. You don't love carrots? Oh, I love, yeah, I do. You'd have better vision if you loved carrots. <laughs> Shut up. Carrot cake is terrible. I mean, you only get like six times a year to eat cake if you're a self-respectful human being. I like cream cheese frosting, okay? You can put that on anything. Yeah, red velvet can suck my dick and die in eight fires. Of really? Life. Fuck red velvet. I hate red velvet. Red- I'll, I'll fuck a girl with herpes in space before I eat a fucking carrot cake. <laughs> You can have fun with that. It's what it's like eating red velvet. <laughs> Fuck you. Red velvet is amazing. I'm, with, velvet, I'm with Brian there. Red Me velvet and Brian. Is, is some fucking is some fat girl BuzzFeed fucking That's trending a... topic horseshit. Oh from fuck you, man! I ate that shit before. Before it got was cool. Them fat. Oh yeah, you got ex- fucking excited about red velvet. I do get excited about red velvet. Red velvet is fucking garbage, and I hate. If it. you want vegetables, you can go to a different fuck. You can go to fucking Whole Foods instead of eating it in a fucking cake. Can I get zucchini cakes? Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> piece of shit. Your cauliflower ass pizza bitch. What else what else we got? <laughs> Can't want carrots in my cake. I don't know what to until tomorrow when I have to eat vegetables with dinner I can have them right Scott, now. What's your cake. favorite kind of cake? Uh don't say fucking yams. <laughs> I've always been part of the yam cake. I like yam cake. I like Chicken a- pot cakes. I love daikon radish cake. I'm not really a cake fan, so I asked the, the baker to put as many of the carrots inside it as he... Fuck you, carrot cake. <laughs> you piece of shit. You can get fat. You get, if you can't get fat with the rest of us, you get off the fucking porch. Yam. <laughs> you can't eat with the big dogs. You yeah. eat the carrots on the street. <laughs> I'm not backing down from this one. I like carrot cake, Ryan. Yam cake with sassafras frosting. <laughs> Top three favorite vegetables that are also a dessert. Number one. Fuck you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get a real cake. Get a real man's cake. Eat it by yourself in a bathroom. Holy Covered shit. in tears. I'm glad that we got a classic Brian Antonio rant. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking cat. I will say this. I will say this. My favorite cake. It's got cream cheese. It's got a fucking garden in it, you asshole. <laughs> I will say this about carrot cake. You can eat it for breakfast and it won't make you. You can fucking eat everything for breakfast. I mean, you can. 
You, you can, can have anything you want for breakfast. And it won't make you what? It's like a fucking bran muffin with cream cheese froth. It's like a bagel and cream cheese Oh, that's with- exactly what I want on my birthday. A cake that's going to make me run to the shitter. I'm never going to eat a bran A bran muffin is far and away better than a carrot cake. You can eat anything for breakfast. You're wearing a golf tee. Your fucking opinion is invalid. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what warrant you see for breakfast? So fucking sawdust and gums. <laughs> You can have a carrot cake for breakfast, you Wait, piece of shit. Warren? With the cherry the pie? Band? The band that made the, the song Cherry Pie. I don't know why I didn't go with cherry pie on that one. I don't know why you used Warren as an example. I mean, they they probably had the worst breakfast. Of Literally them. all they're known for is a song about pies. And you're like, you know what kind of cake they probably eat? No. They probably don't eat cake. Actually, the correct answer was Bobby Brown's pussy. But... Uh. Piece of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> my favorite cake is a vegetable cake because that used to be fat. <laughs> Fuck you. I like cream cheese frosting. Oh, shut up. What? It tastes metallic. Whole wheat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what if we put cream cheese frosting on something else? Would you like would, what? Like if, a chocolate cake. That sounds stupid. It's probably delicious. It sounds like a bad time. So I mean, you've been describing this I whole ten I minutes. Wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it because <laughs> cream cheese frosting is just that much on the side of the the healthy fence that I would think it was fucking carob cake, and I don't eat. You're carob. a oh my God. You, know, you don't eat carob cake. I'm surprised you don't eat carob cream cake. cheese frosting is the worst frosting for you. It is. It's horrible. It's horrible for what you. What do you mean for you? Yeah. It's fucking cake, Scott. No, I know, it's but it's carrot cake, if Scott. If you're concerned with your fucking health, you don't eat any of it. You have a fucking actual carrot. God, H- honey. You have some you have some boiled Brussels sprouts and a water. You're like a man who has a giant piece of banana bread with butter because it's healthy. Honey, honey, I know that we eat carrot cake. Banana bread is so stupid, I hate it. But but it's, <laughs> it's if it had fucking, cream cheese frosting on it, you fucking love it. It's fucking Fuck cheat day. If we're gonna have carrot cake tonight, we're gonna put a little fucking ch- cream cheese frosting on it. <laughs> piece of shit carrot cake by itself could fuck right off you can fuck right off by yourself <laughs> and with cream cheese frosting good i get more fucking carrot cake to myself oh you have the whole goddamn thing you eat yeah. the whole fucking yeah. sheet good i'm gonna eat all of danzig with this fucking i hope you eat a carrot cake the size of a car and you die and then rabbits come over and laugh at you because you're fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm gonna have in a carrot cake one day it's a picture of you eating a carrot cake <laughs> <laughs> that carrot cake and we'll throw, throw it in, in the trash, trash. <laughs> where it belongs. And rabbits are going to go, I'm not eating that shit. A bunch of rabbits will shit on it. Jesus Christ. Even a rabbit would say, if I wanted a cake, I would get a real man's cake. <laughs> Dancing wouldn't even eat carrot cake. <laughs> Dancing's cat wouldn't eat carrot cake. In, in real talk, Dancing probably would eat red velvet. <laughs> yeah, because it you, looks like fucking blood. Yeah. But and because it's what, awesome. This is what Jesus Christ ate in the deleted Bible books where he was a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to wrap up. Good. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm done with this show. Jesus was a werewolf eating carrot cake. I don't know if you know this, but Nazis had his... <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Glenn Danzig? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they had a special forces group made entirely out of werewolves. <laughs> You know what it say? What it should say above uh, the logo for carrot cake? It should say "Fool your friends." <laughs> I'm Glenn Danzig. I eat carrot cake all the time because I'm trying to see in the dark to defend myself from psychic vampires. <sighs> Fool your friends. This has been another great episode of the Comedy Button. Thank you for taking time to spend time with us. <laughs> I'm st- <laughs> just, imagine, just imagining a, box, a Betty Crocker carrot cake <laughs> with a bull crock. Fool your friends, Brian. It's on on the comedy button. Good. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but, but thank you for listening to this show. Hop on over to the internet and check some of our newest shows. Internet Max- rabbit hole where there's no <gasps> carrots there's or no cake. carrot cake. All right, all right, all right. I, I, Scott, you have internet rabbit hole on sure youtubecom slash rev 3 games mm. When does that go up? It goes up every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Pacific. I think we're doing an episode about uh, the Planeteers and the Magic School Bus. Hmm. This week. Good. Uh, what else you got going on over there? You got any, any fun? Any games you're reviewing? Uh, I reviewed uh, a game a while ago. I don't know. This is so far ahead in the future. I have no idea. I'm yeah. working on a bunch of. I'm working on a bunch of stuff that uh, on the back burner. 
uh, sketches and, and shit that's going to be coming out soon. They may have already started coming out. Hmm. Who, who knows? Scott Bromley involved in sketches. I know. Go check it out. Ryan, you do the Geek Box, yeah? I do. It's at www.geekbox.net. You don't have to do the www. 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 It's really the only website that still has a dot .net, so it should be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just type the end of the address first, and it should autocomplete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that. Go listen to the Geek Box. I talk more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when these guys aren't all around telling me how they want to kill me. That was a Talking weird question. That carrot, was a weird question. Carrot cake. Brian, you do Up at Noon? It I goes do. Up at Noon? It goes every- Up at Noon every Monday. We've had some big guests le- recently and some new reveals. Uh, I think Shuhei Yoshida from Sony's on this week, so come check that out. Depending Is on he which revealing some secrets? He always reveals secrets. And he loves me. He's a good man. He's, what, do you have any any personal things you want to promote on here? Not yet. Do you Go have like download a, a my blog album. about cakes that you enjoy. No, that I just did that right here. That was my thing for the show. I'm gonna go rest in my tomb for another year now. <laughs> go go to missandthrillalbum dot com. Download Miss download and the Throw. album if you like it. Kick me some money. If not, be broke. And I know what that's like. So enjoy. Yeah, that's a good album. Put that out on vinyl, please. Okay. Follow us. Give on me t- more money. Bug uh, Bug Brian on the internet to put that out on vinyl because I want it. Hey. Um, you can find my shit on youtube.com slash detoid. I put up videos there uh, at least three times a week. Um, they're, I'm trying to have fun there. Go give them a shot. Go, go have fun there, kids. You can enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, that's it, I think. That's all for, t- for tonight. If you want to email us, it's uh, podcast at comedybutton.com. And uh, we're all on Twitter. Scott is Scott underscore Bromley. Ryan is Rydog. I'm Max Scoville. Brian is Agent Bizzle, and Anthony Gallegos, God rest his soul, is Chuff Money. Mm -hmm. That's it. We're done. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Man, I could go for a cool, refreshing slice of carrot cake. Fuck Fuck you. (laughs) Fool your friends. (laughs) 